Well, everyone, you might be trying to figure out how you can factory reset your Samsung Galaxy Tab on your device, on your Samsung Galaxy you know, Tab. Now, doing this is basic, doesn't really take too much time, and you can really do this on any Samsung Galaxy Tab out there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application on your Galaxy Tab. So find out wherever your settings application is. In this case, you can see mine is over here on this page, so I'm going to open it up. Now, what I typically do is I go ahead and click on the search bar right up there, and I will go ahead and type in reset. So this is the easiest way to kind of jump into the particular panel. And if you have a Galaxy Tab that's on an older version of software, you can just type this in and it should be universal for everybody. Now, going into reset, you'll see a few things. But what we want to do is we want to click on factory data reset. Now, the differences between all these resets is that you basically will have the option of resetting all settings, but all your data is still on your iPad or on your tablet. The reset accessibility settings, that just you know, resets that particular panel. Resetting network settings, which will also just go ahead and you know reset your network settings, your Wi-Fi and stuff. But factory data reset, which is the one you want to click on, and this is going to delete everything off your tablet. So this is going to delete things like your you know, your photos, your videos, your applications, any app data, your anything like that at all. It's going to delete. If anything is if nothing is backed up on the cloud, none of the applications or anything, then it's going to be deleted. You'll never see it again. So before doing this, I would recommend backing up everything you can. Back up your photos, back up your videos, back up literally every single thing you can ever think about backing up. Because if you don't, and that in and of itself is going to cause a ton of issues. And the last thing you want to do is run into an issue where your device isn't backed up and you're having issues and all that kind of stuff. So back up your device, and that's going to be another thing. Whenever you're ready, click on factory data reset. You can go and read through everything you need to, and you can go and reset your device. And that's basically all you're going to have to do. It really is that basic. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.